Hey everyone, are you stuck in a boot loop after flashing a module with kernel su? Don't panic. This video will guide you through removing the problematic module and getting your phone back on track. This method only works if your device can boot into safe mode. If not, we'll explore other solutions in a future video. Hold down the power button for at least 10 seconds. This might trigger a forced reboot and bypass the faulty module. If the forced reboot didn't work, try booting into safe mode. The method varies depending on your device, but typically it involves holding down the volume down button while your phone restarts. Once you're in safe mode, you should be able to access your phone's settings normally. Head over to the apps section, might be called applications on some devices, find the kernel su app in the list. Since we're in safe mode, the problematic module won't be loaded, allowing you to uninstall kernel su itself. Don't worry, we'll reinstall it later. After uninstalling kernel su, try restarting your phone normally. This should bypass the faulty module and hopefully get you back to your home screen. If your phone booted up properly, congratulations. We've successfully removed the problematic module. Here's what to do next. Head over to the source you downloaded Kernel Su from and reinstall the app. Now that Kernel Su is back, be cautious. Find the correct module for your device and flash it using the proper method. Always research and double check the compatibility of any module before flashing it. That's it, by following these steps, you should be able to remove a faulty kernel SU module and get your phone working normally again. If you encounter any problems or have a different scenario, leave a comment below and I'll try my best to assist you. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching this video, see you in the next one.